I want them to do filthy things to each other. Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. Bridgerton, season two, episode three, A Bee in Your Bonnet. A bee in your bonnet. Done, done, done. As a book reader, I have to say, I do find that a very exciting title. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I love that you have little insider knowledge. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes. A bit of a peek behind the curtain. We're editing every other episode. So uh, (laughs) anytime Jessa like has seen something and I haven't, sometimes I'm a bit mischievous and I like zoom in on Jess's face <laughs> to see <laughs> if she has little, little hints for me for episode two. My new theory based on Jess's reaction is that um, editor boy is Eloise's love interest. The guy, okay. or not edit, I don't know, think he's an editor. Well, whoever like gave her the feminism pamphlet which, you know, if she's gonna have to be with a man, he seems um, like common and fun and great. And I meant common in a great way. Full disclosure, he's not a book character. <laughs> That's hilarious. I created this whole narrative in yeah. my head. No, I do my this all was- the time. My face was just fully because we were like deep in the discussion of how we think Eloise should be with a woman. And then I was like, oh, they're setting her up to have this like spunky yeah. love interest. And I was like, boo. Not yeah, what I well, wanted. that's my face during. Okay, if you guys, uh, I'll make sure that I'll keep in our faces there because uh, while he's very cute, um, me watching it the second time, the first time through, Jess and I, yes, had just got through talking about <laughs> Eloise being with a woman and our faces that whole scene are like, <laughs> not giving in. <laughs> But um, I I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. This has been great. I also wanted to give a nice little shout out because we didn't last time. We finally hit 10K subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really exciting for us. And so thank you guys who have been with us from the very beginning. And if you're new, thank you for joining us. All of that. And I'm really excited. We're celebrating it. (laughs) Bienvenue. (laughs) Welcome. Yeah. And if you, uh, uh, and I'm actually really excited to be sharing this with Bridgerton, like to be watching Bridgerton (laughs) with you, because it's so, it feels like something we would have watched together without the cameras any, with any way, and we didn't get to watch season one together. So this has been really fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think there's a lot of, you know, we've got tension, romantic and otherwise. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you need to say? I YouTube has started suggesting that I watch a lot of Bridgerton content and I'm officially over disliking Jonathan Bailey because I first saw him as a jerk in W1A because he seems extremely adorable and he had a um uh like a GQ video of like his 10 essentials and it included him being very passionate about muesli and I too am very passionate about like the perfect granola blend for breakfast so I'm like all right we're friends now it's fine we've moved on (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. I'm I'm so glad because by episode two I'm fully gushing about this yeah (laughs) I need us to be on the same team (laughs) oh my god I was so excited for you to see the last five years clip and I definitely of course I chose like the particular moment to put in the video I, let me tell you, I felt like that was put into the video for me and me alone. I, I mean, like, yes, it was. <laughs> I was like, oh, she gave me reference. Yes, yes. I fell in love. <laughs> it was good, it was good, it was good. Alrighty, well, I think we should jump into this video. I mean, this episode, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see, cannot wait for all the drama to ensue. Julie Andrews, take it away. All it takes. One this guy isn't already in Bridgerton. I know. Who is this man? He's his dad. Mm. Oh, North and South. That's what I'm thinking of him from. <laughs> you have to show me how to do that. Come along. That's what he's doing, <laughs> CD. That's why he's Were, taking you up shooting. Paying attention, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this you decided that stag was too large home. to shoot before you even touched the trigger, I'm afraid. 
You'll learn in time. You make it sound so easy. Okay, the clo- the watch, the low-key Pan's Labyrinth referencing of the watch so far. Ooh, a bee, a bee. You know how we love bees in Bridgerton. Oh, this bloody... Ah, oh, the damn Does thing he die via me. bee? Oh my God. What is it? Help us, someone! Anthony! Go! Ooh, started right away, the pressure. Yeah. You don't get to feel it. Yeah. God damn it, Bridgerton. <laughs> that was much less triggering than I thought it was going to be. My dad has an extreme um, bee allergy, and um, I have definitely had to be on the phone with 911 as he, like, slid it out of his chair onto the ground oh and me being like, okay, I've now turned him on his side uh, as he's seizing, just like, oh, it's terrible, mm. really. I can't really. even imagine because it, it happens so quickly. Anyway, romance. <laughs> he will be assessing me, I know, considering how I might perform as Viscountess. And he I just not feel like they one. dressed them in my purple color palette. Really I appreciate know. it. It's very <laughs> you. <laughs> Good day, ladies. Necklace doesn't go. Which one? The mother's? I never pay attention to her fashion. <laughs> 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 she has no taste. Not at all. What we need to find is someone malleable. Someone stupid enough I love not to know any better. And certainly not to know how to take body. on the manager. <laughs> and everyone else is in the show Bridgerton. Yes. But their house is always in Downton Abbey. Yes. Ooh, I love that. Look at What's her looking like a 70s looks, couch. She's <laughs> I didn't mean that as a compliment though. She's pulling it off. It is not odd to marry one's cousin. It is regal. Yes, mom, the finally. Family. Besides he's your There's fourth no way cousin nonetheless. These fourth cousin, come on, that's barely related. Yeah, Not I mean, for me. I feel like, yeah, like, but seriously, at this time. No, there's no way they'd even, even if it was a first cousin, they wouldn't make a peep. That was wouldn't really. Wouldn't even register it. I'm so pleased you were able to come. As if I would allow Dave to miss out on watching baby. his mother. Augie. No, come and see the baby Eloise. Why well, has it changed since I saw him last? <laughs> <laughs> Eloise, you are a queen. Oh. <laughs> Reading notice, anything else as usual. He shaved. Oh, thank God. I love it when people take our advice. Yes. Mm. Like what you see. You're smiling. She started to like him the moment she saw his extensive grounds. <laughs> Didn't we all? Your opinion of me will be much improved. As well his. <laughs> <laughs> I think we gave props to the horse acting and I think the dog acting also Indeed. on par. No. This is her sister. Mm. Daphne's like, I've seen those looks before. <laughs> what can you mean? <laughs> I Do want not mind to hold enemies. that little chunky so I know. So Look at him bad. in his little cap too. <laughs> So cute. I'm sorry, Eloise. I want to hold the baby. <laughs> I know. So you're quite certain. What did you say to your mother? I, take it. I believe I made my intentions you, clear. Dude, no, you've had two conversations with her. You can't. Oh my lord. Also, what a pretty ring. Don't waste it. I love on her. that little pearls. It's very pretty. You take the opportunity to get to know one another. Mm. Unnecessary. Yes. Listen to your mother. I also must ask, my lord. Might you already have the keys to your father's office? We have been searching. With the baby, this cannot be good for her health. I'll have your mother's things arranged immediately. Oh my God. You are the Viscount now. You can tell he's from theater. He acts with his whole body. Mm, hmm Like you can just see his little anxious tilt start. Yeah, mm-hmm. It is a poor player who <laughs> plays the game and a wise one who plays their opponent. I believe I should rather enjoy this hmm. game. <laughs> I think you will. I'm sure the Viscount is an excellent player. We will all pass a very pleasant afternoon. Do we... <laughs> I need someone to send in another love le- another love interest for the lady, please. Yes. Kate 
is like, I'm going to eat him one way or the other. <laughs> Are you often in that part of town? Seems it is rather far from the fashionable side, is it not? Perhaps I might ask you the same thing. But I will not. Because I happen to Mind believe that own. this business is her own. Would you not agree? I... Yes. Well, no. <laughs> Everyone else's business is Penelope's business, to be quite frank. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> it is the precedent. It's meant to be a game, is it not? Yes, but please the now. <laughs> the only fair thing to do is to let our invited Edwina, guests choose their mallet. This is what a big first. family is like, honey. Grab a mallet <laughs> yes. and jump in. <laughs> exactly. The mallet of death. Oh, would you look at that, brother? Is this yours? Oh, no. You're welcome to it. You near threatened to beat me the last time I touched the exaggerate. <laughs> you know, some men cannot perform without their familiar tools, like a child with a blanket. <laughs> oh, oh no. Poor Edwina. She's way too soft for this. <laughs> this is my family, but it's a yearly game of Pictionary on Christmas Eve. <laughs> We're a games family, like me and my extended family. We do this anytime we get together. <laughs> yeah. Well, when last time I was home, um, it was uh, a game of risk. Me and my brothers and my niece and nephew. And it did end up with both my brothers screaming at each other over the table. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I did not wish to leave my ball in your path. So I've left an open space so you can send yours. How very kind of you, my lord. Ugh. <laughs> if someone did that, I'd be like, um, don't pity me. Thank you. That's because I'm competitive. <laughs> oh. Send it. Send it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lady Dogberry. Mm-hmm. Not since I left with my late husband. A lifetime ago, it seems. I quite understand. Aubrey Hall holds many such memories for me as well. I love Lady Bridgerton, okay? She is like the best mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Sharma conducts herself with much grace indeed. Huh. Then you shall not mind this. <laughs> well done. I knew I liked her. I do feel bad for her. This would stress me out. Yes. Oh, poor thing. Oh, that really, oh, <laughs> that made me really sad for her. I think I shall cut out. We still have to get the ball though, because they need, they need the- It goes with the- I shall- uh, Why would yeah, we rescue you. her? Why yeah. wouldn't you go get the ball? You're so bad at this. She's not a she's not a sports girl, and that's okay. Yeah, she doesn't have to be. I know she just looks like she's never failed anything in her life. Yeah. You two better go fetch them, <laughs> unless you would like to quit here and now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Meddlesome. <laughs> You're growing on me, younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, come on. Yeah. The writing's on the wall. Ew. Uh, don't ruin your pretty dress. <gasps> Look at her shoes! Look at beautiful shoes! <laughs> <laughs> we are girls, in case no one has noticed. <laughs> Your play, my lord. He's like... Well, I've never met a woman quite like you, and I think I'm in love. about my boots. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to do filthy things to each other. Correct. <laughs> Just pull. I am trying. It is stuck. I believe I <laughs> underestimated you, Michelle. 
That seems to be the theme of our acquaintance, does it not? <clears throat> oh, we're smiling now. A roll in the mud will do that to you. I shall never surrender to you on the sporting field. <laughs> <laughs> your turn, my lord. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble, <laughs> my boy. You are uh -huh. in trouble. Yep, she yep. is beautiful and adorable. And <laughs> do you not wish to retrieve the game is over. <laughs> Guys. You can't play the game if you leave all the pieces out. I thought you were gonna be like, guys, you like each other. Just be no, together. I'm very stressed. Nobody's gathering the pieces to the game set. I'm sure the Bridgertons have someone who will go you're gather right, you're those right. pieces. Some poor footman has to run about gathering up dirty balls. <laughs> Yes, striding across the field. Mr. Bingley. <laughs> it looks like the tree that they do. Sorry, that is a deep cut Pride and Prejudice. Oh, boy. I love yeah. that this is Antony's surface pressure episode. You must not be standing. All is not well. I have done this seven yes, she times. Should. Yes, she should. Gravity goes down. Where do you think the baby's coming? The baby is not in position. I need to know what you would like us to do. I don't know what you I will do my she best. She needs a midwife. There may need to be a choice Ugh. made. What is this child gonna do? That's a boy. Conversation for his lordship. <laughs> his lordship is Oh my god. Child. It's her body. The choice is Edmund's. It can only be Edmund's because he loved me. <sighs> That's a lot. Help. Pressure like a tick, 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 and it will never stop. Whoa. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day indeed. She does look exactly like the woman playing her mom. Like, yeah. this is great casting. You have an interest in travel. <laughs> adore it. Uh, I mean to say, I, I would adore it. Well, the Americas are certainly further than Hampshire. <laughs> this is so Cinderella. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, you'll make the arrangements. A uh, venison, perhaps. I did not work. I don't know why we're trying so hard. They were <laughs> they were doing fine before you interviewed. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were vibing. I do look forward to supporting my husband in whatever his endeavors may be. You do express yourself so agreeably. <laughs> Us over there. And rare. Uh -huh. mm, no. That ain't right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Although, to be frank, Ma, you could have done something to whip your son into shape well before now. I have found that one may easily remain agreeable when one also has inner resources. I myself am... <laughs> He is dropping. Truly it's amazing. If this is not us. <laughs> like, <laughs> truly, I have never seen such identical twins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I must admit to you, the only books I've read this year. And did Miss Edwina mention Pall Mall? She did not appear to be having much fun. Well, how could she have done? When a lot of you were downright gladiatorial. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could judge them. I really do. I, no, no room for judgment. <laughs> if you say she is the one in whose presence you cannot properly think or even, or even breathe, if you say you feel that feeling. Feeling? What? Is... What are feelings? <laughs> <laughs> Define feeling wait slow down i've got to write it <laughs> if that is the feeling you have yeah. when you're with miss edwina i am quite happy for you indeed i could not describe it better myself yes <laughs> <laughs> 
I wish that she had been just a little bit bolder and said, if that's what you feel when you look at Miss Kate, you meet Miss Edwina. <laughs> oh, yes. That's, that's the, the one. Tongue. <laughs> How agreeable that you could all join us this Ooh. evening. Oh, that <laughs> is a choice. Yay, yay, yay. Ooh, are we in the early 2000s? What happened uh -huh. here? That's a going out top. I bet she's wearing it with pointy toe shoes. <laughs> I'm quite interested to hear more about your gemstone mines back in the Americas. They certainly do make for the most exquisite of necklaces, my lord. Why talk of rubies across the ocean when there is I so mean, much to discover I mean, this man has here. property in the U.S. in the 1810s, including mines. It's a no. It's a hard no, actually. I was wondering if perhaps after dinner I might display my singing voice for everyone. Oh, do. Have I mentioned my Cressida is accomplished in this song? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but she is a gem. Truly. And I... she deserves much better than this weird cousin. Yes, yes. I can't wait for her to find her perfect match because I'm enjoying her immensely. Yes. I really would be happy to sing. Enough, Prudence. <laughs> oh no don't marry bennett yourself oh 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 okay it's a party it only takes <laughs> doses to fill the effects doing some uh hallucinogens good is that good what the you. kids are calling it doing some hallucinogens <laughs> yes that is what the cool kids say Oh boy. Okay. <gasps> oh dear God. You are going to be jumping off of the roof. You're going to ayahuasca shit yourself. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh no. I'm not trying to be ironic, but I will probably keep wildflowers away from my dad's monument if he died because of a bee sting. I feel even sorrier for myself because most of the time all I'm thinking is that this little baby did not do me the kindness of killing me so that I could be with my husband. I am doing my best. Hmm. Anthony? You're all really destroying me with these flashbacks, okay? But then after your father died, a wall went up inside you as if love had become some some weakness instead of your greatest strength and that is not you well I'm not, I'm not trying to blame you because it's certainly not your fault but like you did kind of put that on him immediately i seek an amiable partner with whom i may share a pleasant life untouched by heartbreak and the ravages of grief that's Ooh. not how life works buddy you're a kind man, so no matter who you marry, she's going to be heartbroken yeah. if you die. Yes. But all that talk of him being away, he just doesn't want her to fall for him at all. Yeah, but like being emotionally withholding to your partner, that's not going to make their life better. Mm -mm. Like you want to destroy this young girl's whole future. Oh, mm. Mm. oh. <laughs> Benedict, dear. Oh, these two. <laughs> that was the best thing he's ever done. Yes, it was. It has certainly been a privilege to truly make your acquaintance these past days. In fact, I believe there is a question I would like to ask you. No. I should like to ask you to please refrain from telling anyone back in London about yesterday's loss. I feared the harm to my reputation would simply be too great. <laughs> um, to the pleasant days ahead. Uh, pleasant days. Pleasant days ahead. So messy. So, so, so mm. messy. Poor Edwina. I feel so bad for her. Yeah. Kate, Kate, Kate. Whatever will you do? I hate seeing you like this. <laughs> I thought he liked me. Oh. All will be well despite this disappointment with the Viscount, I assure you. Oh, 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 oh,
my heart. <laughs> the Royal Schools have accepted me as a student. I got it! Okay. Uh, I thought they were not the So yeah, the taste. world. It's about They've the world. They've got some great promise in yeah. my work. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I just somebody grab a hold of it. Okay, he's still flying. <laughs> Look at Halloween. <laughs> For how else might one explain the tawdry, dare I say, vulgar gown sported lately by Miss Cressida Cowper? Whereas Madame Delacroix might be old, but at least she is capable. <laughs> Thanks. Um, what? My enterprise grows more difficult for me to maintain on my own. If I was spotted by you so easily, it is only so long mm. before I get recognized by someone Moves. that's discreet. I love this. Okay. I wanted to be Eloise, but this is better. Did you have to call me old? <laughs> Thank you. Especially since this woman is stunning. Yes. <laughs> like old who, where. Right. <laughs> Miss Edwina seems perfectly capable of forming her own impressions. Perhaps if you took notice... So now you claim to know my sister better than me. The only feeling you are in fact capable of engendering, my lord, is that of discontent. Not... My lord. No, no, my do lord. not. My lord. Do not. Love it because he knows what this feeling is. He know he's experienced like love and attraction like this before. <laughs> 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 yeah, buddy. You're in trouble. Okay, I'm just really glad that I was prepared for this. This is actually a change from the book. This okay, so that scene with the bee the whole plot of the book hinges on because he freaks out and is like, I have to get out the venom. And he like, is like, I'm going to suck out the venom. So he like puts his mouth to her chest to start sucking it out. And, and of course they are like spotted. And so they immediately have to get married. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, that yeah. would have been way better. Yeah. <laughs> So if I had not been prepared, if I had not read that they completely changed that, I would have, I would be losing my mind right now. I'm so, why would you tell me that? I'm sorry. You know how much I love a forced marriage, I, marriage oh, law. I know. I love and this is this because it happens significantly the less last season yes. because, mm -hmm. and honestly, this, I mean, this is an issue with the books is that they all basically have the same plot. For some reason, somebody starts making out or has full sex and then they're like, oh, well now we must get married even though we don't love yeah. each other or there's a, you know, so that they can have lots of hot sex before the feeling. Anyway, it's a whole thing. I get them wanting to not make it feel too much like the exact plot of season one, but that's kind At of- At the weird. very least, could we not have him suck out the venom Correct. I mean my god <laughs> no that was so Stevie the looks yeah, yeah, between yeah, yeah. them sent immediate yes. hell yes I am sad they don't have to go into like a marriage law immediately yeah. whatever <laughs> it's fine I guess I ship them so much yes. okay like is there anything better than someone like understanding your anxiety yes. and just like helping you and talking you wow. down talking you down from a panic attack Hello. that you just had in karaoke I mean um, um in the gardens <laughs> wow <laughs> we're so mentally ill <laughs> I do feel extremely bad for Edwina though. Too, this is rough. Uh, this is she's like such really a sweet rough. little thing. Oh no. And they're so close, her and her sister. Like, I don't want, I just really hope we get someone great for her. I'm worried know? about her because she's getting a lot more like time than she does in the book because she's just sort of like, I don't know, along for the ride in the book. And then 
like after um Kate's like I mean I guess I'm getting married to him I hope you're not mad she's like oh no I fell in love with somebody else at the house party and I'm marrying him so we never meet and it's just like totally thrown out on the side so we never get anything that's like oh she is developing feelings for Anthony or she cares or they get together so I'm like this is a lot like messier. her sobbing into her sister's arms and yeah. then her sister falling in love with him that's a no ma'am situation yeah it's rough it is real rough oh well um I can't wait to see what happens next <laughs> so let's roll on to the next episode thank you guys so much oh sorry do you have something no, no. else to add no I'm thank you guys excited oh I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned uh, in a day or so for uh, the next episode and keep leaving those steamy thoughts in the comments. <laughs> Bye. Bye.